We came up with uh, this, this initial concept of using uh, this toroidal shape, this annular wing shape, to make but hopefully a quieter propeller. Roidal propeller connects these two edges from the two blades together, which just eliminates these edges, which eliminates the wingtip vortices, so it means more thrust. We found that the Sherrill prop was faster in all RPM settings, planed at lower RPM, and had more thrust in reverse, stuck to the water in tight high-speed turns, and had significant improvement in miles per gallon at nearly every speed setting, particularly in the mid-range. This annoying sound is the sound of inefficiency. Yet, with a simple tweak of shape, we can go from this to this. This odd donut-shaped propeller is called a toroidal propeller and many believe it to be a breakthrough in aviation. Not only does it seem quieter, but apparently it's supposed to provide an unexpected boost in efficiency at seemingly no cost to performance. But is it as good as it sounds? If so, what other applications could this prove useful in? Let's investigate. While the invention of the flight was revolutionary, today's propellers differ little from the original concept. And not this original concept. Way earlier than that, over 2,400 years ago, kids in China were playing with the same design that flies us through the skies today. Boats still use screw-style propellers, variants of which can be found as far back as the 1700s. So it was long overdue for a game-changing upgrade. A team at MIT might have just created the most significant change to propeller design since their conception. By asking one question, what shape gives the quietest output without sacrificing performance? We must find out why standard propellers are so noisy to answer this. And it's not just drones and planes. Even boats have this problem. The loud noise you hear is not the engine but the propeller. This is called aerodynamic noise, and it comes from the vortices produced by the propeller tip's fast movements. As a propeller spins, its tips reach incredible speeds, sometimes nearing the speed of sound. Any minor imperfection in the airflow at this speed leads to a very noisy sound profile which can be immediately apparent in this test. Constant exposure to droning and industrial noises can actually lead to noise-induced hearing loss, so finding a less noisy alternative to propellers is vital. So how can the toroidal propeller fix this issue? That annoying noise we used to hear from traditional propeller designs is in the 1 to 5 kHz range. Our ears are most sensitive to this range, and we have a biological tendency to be alarmed by loud sounds in this range. This toroidal design reduces the noise output at exactly those frequencies, sounding more like a rushing breeze instead of a swarm of bees. A toroidal propeller works by creating a vortex ring, which is a circular flow of air that travels around the propeller blade. This vortex acts as a low-pressure zone that pulls air through the center of the toroid, resulting in a more efficient and quieter propulsion system. In addition, the slower rotational speed of the toroidal blades means that they produce less noise than conventional propellers, making them a potentially attractive option for aircraft operating in noise-sensitive areas. We can see from the shape that the two blades loop back together so that the tip of one blade curves back into the other. This is called a closed-form structure, and it greatly minimizes the drag effects caused by the tips of the blades by spreading out the vortices through the entire edge of the blade as well as offering an increased stiffness to the propeller. The MIT researchers developed and tested various designs, one of which, the B-160, provided not only a drastic noise decrease but also noticed another surprising side effect, it managed to noticeably increase performance. After all, noise is energy, and more noise means more energy lost. In fact, looking at how it performs in a fluid, we can see that the shape manages to move a lot more fluid per rotation and does so with decreased turbulence. The result is that more energy is converted to practical work instead of irritating our ears. Given that this design is a newcomer to the propeller industry, it's a huge surprise that it outperforms over a hundred years of classic prop design and evolution. In marine use, tests have indicated a game-changing 205% increase in efficiency for the same RPM of a standard propeller design. Their key advantage is optimization, which vastly reduces the amount of fluid that slips out the sides of a propeller. Instead, the toroidal props suck more water through and advance a boat further per turn. And not only that, it manages to achieve an efficient performance at much lower RPMs, 
which will lead to substantial fuel savings and significantly reduce the impact that ships have on the environment, both noise-wise and pollution-wise. The closed form design also drastically reduces the risk of the blade snagging on objects and provides a much more resilient structure, leading to higher durability and longevity. Now while you might be surprised at the lack of drawbacks, it's not without its downsides. The complicated design is a slight hurdle for manufacturing, requiring more sophisticated CNC machining, making the propellers come with a relatively high upfront cost. But even this downside is countered by the fact that the energy savings pay for themselves. This opens up a new solution for urban air mobility, where noise pollution is a major concern. UM is a growing industry that aims to provide on-demand air transportation in and around urban areas, but the noise generated by traditional aircraft engines and propellers is a major barrier to widespread adoption. The reason they're becoming more and more popular is because they have been doubling the propeller efficiency of the boats they're installed on. On top of that they are noticeably quieter when used. So let's talk some more about them. The differences are fairly obvious if you compare an ordinary propeller to a toroidal propeller. What's not so obvious is the benefit of using these types of propellers. The standard propeller creates more cavitation in the water. When rotating cavitation refers to the bubbles the propeller makes underwater. When the blades are spinning the toroidal propeller creates fewer bubbles. The toroidal propeller creates fewer tip vortices compared to a regular propeller. On top of that the toroidal propeller pulls in more water as it spins. This means greater thrust and faster speeds. Currently these propellers are being tested on ships as well as drones. Some research teams want to create extremely quiet drones relying on toroidal propellers. To do this their design is different because they have a wider pitch and the holes in the blades are larger and easily noticeable. When it comes to marine propulsion the opposite is true. When running at 4000 RPM on small boats the propeller is 105% more efficient than the regular propeller, and they reach maximum efficiency sooner than a standard propeller. For most small boats this is very good news as they spend a lot of time cruising at the mid-range, so it translates to 20% less fuel consumption, and this is again changing. Number of companies are looking to manufacture Toronto propellers for large container ships. If they could reduce fuel consumption by 20 or more percent by introducing a new propeller type global trade would change drastically. Suddenly transporting goods will become cheaper faster and quieter. But there's a problem manufacturing these propellers is very expensive. Currently they're 3D printed which means they can only be produced on a small scale. The cost of an average boat propeller is around 500. The toroidal propeller that Sharo makes is $5,000. That's a price difference of 10x. Hopefully the price of these propellers will come down in the future as their popularity grows. One company, Bluebird Aerosystems, is currently exploring partnerships with UM companies and other potential customers to bring its toroidal propellers to market. In addition to their potential use in UM, quiet toroidal propellers could also have applications in other areas of aviation, such as commercial airliners and military aircraft. In these applications, the noise reduction benefits of toroidal propellers could improve passenger comfort and reduce the environmental impact of aviation. They are also an attractive option for industrial and infrastructure inspection, as well as agricultural monitoring. However, some challenges still need to be addressed before toroidal propellers can become a mainstream technology in aviation. One of the main challenges is the need for further research and development to optimize the design and performance of toroidal blades. In addition, there may be regulatory hurdles to overcome, as toroidal propellers are a relatively new technology and may require certification from aviation authorities. Nevertheless, some people have even 3D printed their own propellers based on this design, and they have tested them in various other applications one of the more interesting ones being for designing quieter fans for computers. Of course, these homemade designs aren't up to spec with the more finely tuned MIT prototypes, as is expected for designs that are still in their early phases and have not yet had time to be completely optimized, but they are still showing remarkable results. With further research, this advancement has a lot of opportunities to become the next giant leap in aviation and consumer technology. A true silent revolution. What do you guys think about this propeller? Let us know in the comments section down below. As always thanks for watching our video. 
See you in the next one.